All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, we're going to continue with our video a day. Right, I said yesterday in the video that we did that I tried to do a video a day this week since I've been gone and haven't been posting a lot. So we're going to continue with that theory. Today we're going to talk about three safety flexibility. We've done uh, other videos on three safety systems. We've done videos on hybrid players. Now I'm just going to go through a shorter video of telling you why I like the flexibility of a three safety defense uh, based off of how we like to play football and the offenses that we see. If you have not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button. Remember to turn your notifications on so that you know every time I post a new video, you get the notification so you know that the new videos are out there. Remember to check out our sponsors. All right, we got Defensive Coordinator One, which is an in-game app, which allows you to use in-game data to make in-game adjustments. So you go into the game with your game plan. You think that team's going to be running certain things, certain formations, certain percentages of runs or passes. You get in the game, you start charting the game, and they're doing things a little bit different. Now you're trying to match your calls up with what they've been running, find out what's been good, what's been bad. It's a set system now with input data, using that in-game data to make your adjustments so it makes it a little bit more scientific in your approach as opposed to just doing it the old-fashioned kind of gut feeling. I think I know what they've been doing. Now you have live in-game data. All right, <clears throat> we've got um, Max One, which is a platform. It's an app that's an all-in-one platform that allows you to communicate, organize workouts, communicate with your team, all right, and then actually show the workouts, all right, to your players so that if you had different players doing different workouts, instead of writing five workouts on the board, each player could have a phone with the Max One app, and your D-line knows that they're doing one workout, your linebackers are doing a different workout, your safeties or corners are doing a different workout, your quarterback's doing a different workout, all right, you can organize your practice schedule on there so that people can have calendars and an organizational tool. You can message and communicate if things need to change, if practice needs to change, if you have to change a meeting or a time or a camp date. So it's a platform that puts everything into one app that allows you to organize, communicate, message players, set up workups. So it's streamlined into one system, all right, which is easier for coaches to use, easier to get that information to your players. Also, a neat feature is if kids go out of town like they do all the time in the summer, kid asks, hey, coach, what was the workout today? Pull it up on your phone, all right, June 26th, whatever the date is, that's your workout today. DBs, June 26th, workout number three. Pull it up on your phone. Now when they're out of town, they can do the workout. Game Strat, which is a sideline replay system that we use. All right, it's the number one most reliable, most affordable sideline replay system. All right, there's more coaches across the country using it now. They've broken into the market. They've done a good job. All right, with their customer service, the product is good. The people are running the company are good. I think you'll really enjoy it. We use it uh, as our sideline replay system, and, and we loved it here. Just Play Football is the software that I use to draw and diagram plays when I speak at clinics, when I do webinars. It has a playbook feature where you can uh, obviously use a normal playbook feature, but it also has a, a game plan set up to where you can quiz players on game plans. You can instruct them to what the game plan is. You can make them take a quiz. Okay, this team has four base runs. What are they? All right, what is the number one go-to run? This team does such and such on first down. You can set questions up. Kids have to answer the questions. You can see who's taking the quiz. You can see how they've answered. You can see what they've got right, what they've got wrong, which allows you to have a better understanding of what the kids know and what they don't know so that when you go out and practice, you know where to spend more time in your game plan rather than having them all go, yeah, coach, I got it, got it, coach, got it, coach. And then you find out that they really had no idea. They just said, got it, coach, because they didn't want to hear you talk anymore. All right. And then um, dome hats, which is the hat I'm wearing right now. All right. Dome hats is custom quality headwear, hats, peonies, visors. All right. Uh, local company here in Northeast Florida. Again, a uh, guy that I actually coached against tells you how old I'm getting. Got to play quarterback in high school and then went and punted and kicked at Florida. Company formed by two former football players from Florida that understand what high school coaches go through. They want to get their hats in every sport, every state, every staff. Everybody wears hats. Teams wear hats as part of their uniform. Coaches wear hats as part of their daily practice wear or sideline wear. You give hats to members of the community to make sure that you have your, you know, your team morale and, and your culture and uh, you know, everything that you are doing with your team out there in your community, you give hats to administrators, you give hats to custodial staff, so everybody uses hats, why not use Dome? It's a great company, great people, great business located here in Northeast Florida. All right, 
Also, if you check it out, all right, here's one of my first PlayFast football t-shirts. We are looking into producing these PlayFast football t-shirts now in uh, black, orange, white with the different colors and same logo, but it would be orange shirt would have different colors. PlayFast football would be different. Uh, the, the logo up top, the football. So we're looking into actually producing these, trying to find out how many people would actually like to purchase a shirt so we can figure out what's the best way to produce them, how can we produce them, uh, how can we get them out to people. So if you're interested, this is the PlayFast logo. Uh, Lore Designs, which is a company that works with Dome, um, and Jeff Whitaker, who works at Dome, they made the design for me. I absolutely love the design. This is our PlayFast logo. If you're interested in this shirt, leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter um, at CoachMac8740 or at PlayFastFB. All right, hit me up on Twitter and let me know you're interested so we know how many shirts we may need to produce or that there is a viable market out there for people that want to rock PlayFast football swag. All right, today we're going to talk about free safety flexibility, all right, and one of the reasons we're going to talk about it, uh, I was talking with a couple of buddies of mine recently about what they're doing, how they're doing it, middle of the field open, middle of the field closed, how they're getting to it, how they're rotating to it, how they're carrying, what they're carrying, what their base structures are. So for us, we are a middle of the field open team by nature. We are a quarters team. We are a quarter, quarter, half team. All right, that basically against 21 personnel, we will start as a quarter, quarter, half team, which means we will play quarters defense to the strength. We will play some version of half defense to the field, usually some type of eight-man front structure, but we play a quarter structure to the strength, so the middle of the field is technically open for us because we don't play with a true defined post player. We play with a safety that's playing quarters off of the release of a number two receiver. All right, so we don't play with a closed middle of the field. We start as a middle of the field open team. All right, so if we saw a 21 personnel team, all right, we are a quarter, quarter, half team. More often than not, we would be in some type of eight-man front with a safety down and a corner off playing an inverted half technique here. All right, so it's an eight-man front. Free safety is the ninth guy in the box, always trying to get ex extra guys plus one in the run game. So 21 personnel, that's how we would start. But we play it, all right, which for us, we play with three safeties all the time with the exception of maybe short yardage goal line. But our base package, we don't have a nickel, we don't have a dime, we have one package. We play with five DBs on the field all the time, all right? We almost never go to six DBs unless it's prevent or something special, and we almost never go to extra linebackers or extra D linemen unless it's short yards or goal line. So our base defense is a three safety system, okay? Now, the reason I love it so much is because it gives us the flexibility to do multiple things. The first thing it gives us the flexibility to do, all right, is if we got the front set the other way, Without moving anybody, okay, all we've got to do without moving anybody now, all right, if we just change where the three and the one was, all right, just for defensive purposes, if we change the over front, our right safety now has to be able to play the curl flat version of quarters, our right corner has to play corners, our free safety just changes the strength declaration, and now on the back side, we play the eight man front the same way because our left safety and our right safety, all right, are guys that have to be able to play up and back, okay? They are guys that have to be able to play the job of a safety and the job of a linebacker, all right? Now, why is that important? All right, first of all, it makes it easy for us to line up. We don't change sides. We don't ask the guys to flip sides. We don't move around. It's easier to play up-tempo teams. It's easier to play no huddle teams. Line up on your side. Let the free safety dictate the strength. Let the free safety make the coverage call. Okay, second reason we do it, okay, as soon as we get any structural breaks, nowadays in the game of football, you are going to see offenses that are more multiple, more diverse, that are doing more things. So you see less and less system oriented football to where you don't see, on average, you don't see true pro I teams anymore. You don't see a lot of true wing T teams anymore where we are. You don't see a lot of true flex bone teams. You will see them. They are out there. There are still great football teams. There's great single wing football teams that dominate the area that they're in. There's great flex ball. There's great air raid. There's great pro eye. There's great wing T teams. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. But what I'm saying in my area and in the last 10 years of coaching football, what I'm seeing is week in and week out, we are seeing a morph, a blended, diverse, multiple style of offense where we're seeing multiple formations 
one back, two back, and three back. We're seeing option football. We're seeing passing route combinations, all right? And we're seeing hard downhill gap schemes. We're seeing everything every week that we got to be able to defend. So what I like about the three safety system for us, all right, is it gives us the ability to go from middle of the field to middle of the, middle of the field open to middle of the field closed at any time with players that can do it without asking them, all right, to step outside of their athletic ability or their comfort zone. Okay, so in a two-by-two two setting as a two-read base team, as part of our quarters toolbox, okay, we are a middle-of-the-field open team. All right? If at any time, depending on how I wanted to do it, I can close the middle of the field, and I can do so by rotating my safeties any way that I want to rotate, because all three of my safeties have the athletic ability, all right, and in their makeup, all three of my safeties can be middle-of-the-field players, okay? Generally, my free safety is the middle-of-the-field player, all right, but whether I wanted to rotate weak, rotate strong, all right, whether I wanted to take a three-by-one set, okay, and I wanted to make that three-by-one set a strong three-by-one rotation because I want the free safety spinning down, my right safety has the ability to be a middle-of-the-field closed safety, okay? So for us, we can transition from middle-of-the-field open to middle-of-the-field closed, all right, at any time, and any of our three safeties, all right, are expected to be able to play a middle-of-the-field closed position, all right? Now, in the older days, all right, going back to the original drawing, in the older days of football, when you looked at like 4-4 type defenses, all right, so if you looked at 4-4 type defenses personnel, a lot of times this was a sandbacker and this was, all right, this was, all right, some type of monster back, rover back, whatever you want to call it, but these were linebackers, 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 free safety, okay? Generally speaking, these were one high defenses that were middle of the field closed teams. In order for them to get to middle of the field open, they normally had to substitute a player and come in with multiple personnel packages. Nickel, dime, whatever it may be. They could not go to middle of the field open because their linebackers, all right, if this was for argument's sake, we called him a rover backer, all right, their rover backer did not have the skill set to play defense on a hash mark, okay? So they always wanted to leave him down. By always leaving him down, all right, they always stayed in some type of one high structures unless they changed personnel, okay? But let's think about this. In older 25, 30, 35 years ago, all right, you had more time to change personnel when the offense changed personnel. The offense's personnel was dictated, and you knew when it was double tight, you knew when the receivers were coming in, you knew who everybody was. They changed, we changed. There weren't a lot of teams playing tempo. You had time to change. In today's game, what the offense has done, okay, is the offense has gone into a position where they are now playing, okay, a wide out, a wide out, a wide out, all right, and a lot of times a tight end, all right, that is also a fullback, and now as a defense, is that 11? All right, is that one back, one tight end? Is that 20? What's the personnel group? All right, and they've also gone to a situation where the tempo is up and they're playing, all right, no huddle football, or they're playing tempo, all right, football at a high pace. We don't have a change. They're not changing personnel a bunch, okay? They're not changing personnel a bunch. They're going from one back to two back, and they're using this guy all over the place. So we don't have a chance to change personnel because they're not changing personnel, okay? And they're all starting to play faster, okay? Which means we don't have time to adjust the personnel or the calls, okay? So by playing three safeties on the field, what that does is it gives me the flexibility now at any time, okay, at any time 
it gives me the flexibility to say, okay, this guy's in the backfield, and we're treating this as a 20 personnel set, all right, and I want to play our base defense, it gives me the ability to play him down, him down, and my free safety to play to read for argument's sake on this side, all right? But now all of a sudden they take this guy, all right, and they put him at tight end over here, and now they're in an 11 set that has pro flanker and twins over here. Now it gives me the ability to say, hey, wait a minute, I want to play this side as quarters, all right, with the right safety down here, and I want to play this side, all right, as palms. So now that left safety who I haven't changed personnel, I just take my... take my will linebacker and I walk him out and this side plays palms or two read because this safety is an up and back player. This side plays quarters, okay? And now this X factor, the flexibility of the Y on or the Y off, the flexibility of the 11 personnel or 20 personnel guy, okay? He is now a guy that is making my decisions tough on defense. I don't know what personnel they have in the game. I don't know what personnel I want in the game. By playing with three safeties, I don't worry about the personnel I have in the game. My three safeties can now play the coverages that they need to play to 20 personnel, 11 personnel, 2x2, two 3x1, two, middle of the field open, middle of the field closed. I can do all the things that I want to do. Okay. The other reason I like it all right, is now that we are living in an RPO world, all right, now that we live in an RPO world all right, where teams are throwing the football and running the football at the same time with the same reads and they're running option football or they're playing all right um, option football and now the option that they're making though is that they're throwing the ball off of people okay so what ends up happening is the base two by two we want to be the middle of the field open all right and we want to play two read because we like the numbers in the run game. Why do we like the numbers in the run game? We feel like we have seven on their five, all right, or six if they use quarterback runs and lead blocker six, or if they read a guy six, we have seven on six. So we like to stay too high to that structure, all right? So we like to be middle of the field open, and we like to be too high to read Palms defense to that structure in our base way of doing things because we like the numbers in the box, right? Well, now all of a sudden you get this RPO world. And what teams normally are going to do is they're going to find the open B gap, and they're going to run a little inside play here, and they're going to lock on, and they're going to double and get to the mic and lock and lock. They're going to run this little inside run. They're going to run these little stick routes here with whatever they do on the outside, and they're going to take this B gap fitter, and they're going to put him in conflict and say, listen, fit the B gap or play this window right here. All right? Everybody's doing it. They're doing it all the time. It's the craze in football. It's within the rules right now. As long as it's legal, why not do it? Why would you not want to take advantage of blocking somebody that's an extra player without physically having to put a body on it to block them? You can handle more people as an offense. You can account for more people because you can read. So now you got this RPO world, right? So because of this RPO world, guess what defenses now are starting to do? You're seeing way more teams playing some version of man-free coverage, right? With 10 personnel on the field, okay, with 10 personnel on the field, if I didn't play three safeties and I played three linebackers, all right, and I went to play man free to a 10 personnel set, there's a good chance that one of my linebackers is going to end up getting matched if I want to keep one of my safeties high, okay, there's a good chance now that one of my linebackers is going to end up having to be a guy that might have to play man on a number two, all right, because I play a three linebacker system, all right, because I am a 4-3 team. If I am a three safety system, at any time that I want to play man to man versus 10 personnel sets, I now feel like I have skills on skills, okay? So I now feel like when I go to play man free, which every defense is now playing more of, all right, it used to be you play man in certain situations or you play man behind pressures. Teams are now starting to play more man free, more low hole, high hole rat coverage 
All right, because of the RPO world, because now I have six in the box, okay? You go to RPO somebody, well, I'm playing man, so when you go to RPO him, okay, now when he runs her out, he's out of the run fit. You can only block five of these guys unless your RPO is a quarterback ISO. Okay? If your RPO is a quarterback ISO, you have six blockers for my six guys in the box. Right? So now what the answer to that is, man-free coverage in a robber style or a one low, one high, and now what I do is I take my free safety, okay, I have three safeties. I put a skill player on a skill player. I put a skill player on a skill player, okay? You back him out, all right? I match him. You run him on stick, I match him. You run quarterback ISO, you have six on six in a box. What I do is I take my extra robber player, and he becomes the QB player in the run game, and now that's how I get my extra fitter. All right, so now you're going to, all right, more of a rat coverage system, and more teams are starting to carry a rat coverage system because it gives you the ability to play man-free while having extra defenders. All right, having an extra low hole, we would bracket. These two would play man-to-man -man on the back. Whoever didn't get the back in man would be the extra low hole player in the passing game. Now I take my high hole player in the passing game and I use him as an extra run fitter. Okay? So I use him aggressively as an extra run fitter because I know if they're a quarterback run team, they've got me six on six in the box. Right? So think about it in terms, for those of you that, that study or look at anything that's Rip Liz match from like uh, Nick Saban stuff or cover three, you close the middle of the field, you play Rip Liz match. Right? And you play a strong safety here and somebody else that rotates down here and your free safety's in the middle. Well, if you play Ripley's match, if two is out and two is out, your guys are matching that, right? So now you have six guys in the box. They have six blockers if they use the tailback as a block. The answer has to be that guy, all right? Technically, he's a deep middle of the field post player. But now you have to equate numbers with numbers in the RPO game and the quarterback run game. Okay? So now you need a guy that you can equate numbers with, so you're starting to see more closed middle structures that are more man-free or rat coverage systems. Right? Not that Ripley's match has gone away. It's still a defense that everybody plays, and it's still a defense that Alabama plays and multiple colleges play, and they're winning a lot of games. It's not going away. But teams are also carrying another way to close the middle of the field to get extra players in the run game. With three safeties, what I really love about it is we go from middle of the field open to middle of the field close at any time, okay? And as soon as we go to man-to-man -man settings, all right, the biggest thing for me is I feel like I always have a player that has to have a skill set to play man-to-man, -man, all right? I have skill on skill, okay? One of the other coverages that you're starting to see that we start to use more of now in short yardage and, and red zone type coverages is underneath cut coverages. Because now you're starting to get a lot of crosses, a lot of picks, a lot of rubs, right? So what we start to do is we start to use coverages where we play our five skills because we play five DBs, right? We play our five skills on your five skills. Okay, so for us, all right, for us, what we would do is we would play our five skills. So our corner, our left safety, our right safety, our corner, and our free safety. All right, we would play our skills on your skills, man to man. And then we would use these backers as run fitters and underneath cut players. So that now in short yardage or red zone, when you start to get all the meshes and all the picks and all the rubs, we feel like we have extra underneath cut players. All right, so now it's a, it's a, it's a rat coverage that you're playing. Instead of one low, one high, you're playing it with two underneath cut guys. With the three safety system, why do I love it so much? I have my matchups that I'm looking for. Okay? I have my matchups that I'm looking for. 
that kid's got to be able to play man, he's got to be able to play man, he's got to play man, he's got to play man, he's got to play man. All right? I'm not doing anything different. I'm not asking anybody to do things that they don't do. So the three safety system for us, based on the way football is played today, okay, based on the way football is, that we see week in and week out is played, the three safety system for us is base defense, okay? Where did a lot of it all start? All right, give credit where credit's due. TCU, TCU started playing nickel defense as a base defense. And they started playing three safeties all the time, okay? We do it, and we do it all the time now because we love the flexibility of having three safeties. We love how easy it is to get from middle of the field open to middle of the field closed. We love how easy it is to play formational-based coverage, all right, meaning our coverages are dependent upon the formations and the deployment of the receivers. We love how easy it is to get into man-free concepts. We love how easy it is when we pressure to play man defense because we have better skilled athletes playing man coverage, okay? That style of defense, what do we not love? Okay, we don't love two tight ends and two running backs. Okay, but guess what? You're going to see that less than 10% of the snaps. So why not play percentages? All right, we don't love two tight ends and two running backs. We don't like seeing it with three safeties on the field. We don't like it. All right, it's not a great matchup for us. Okay, but guess what? If that's less than 10% of the time, why would you not play to your percentages? All right, why would you not coach to the percentages? All right, football is a game, and, and, and again, play fast football is always about an ideology and a philosophy of how to do things a certain way. Football is a game of percentages. Why not play to the percentages? All right, if I see multiple, okay, 10, 20 personnel style offenses, 90% of the year, why is my base defense not going to be structured around dealing with what I deal with 90% of the year? Okay. The only way I would ever think about doing it different is if I had a district that I had to win or be in second place to go to the playoffs. Okay. And my district had five teams in it I had to play. Okay. And one of them was a 21 personnel team. One of them was a 22 personnel team. One of them was a 32 personnel team, okay? And one of them was a 10 personnel team, all right? And another one was maybe, all right, a 11 personnel team. If three of the five teams in the district that I'm playing in the games that matter the most involve some type of two-back, two-tight-end systems or three-back, two-tight-end systems, I may want to gear my base defense around those numbers because I got to get out of my district to get to the playoffs I have to win these games okay so your base defense should be based upon what you see the most what you have to play what you have to defend for us we are seeing multiple we are seeing RPO we are seeing zone read or option football alright and we are seeing a lot of 10 20 11 personnel that makes the most saves for us. All right, It's flexible. It's adjustable. We can get from middle of the field open to middle of the field closed. We can play man and go to man free as soon as we want to. All right, It's the best defense for us and it makes the most sense for us. Does it make the most sense for you? Maybe not. All right. Again, I do what I think is best for us and I do it because I think it's best for us. Three safety for us is very flexible. It allows us to do different things and get to different defensive looks without changing personnel. It allows me to play various fronts, coverages, stunts with the same 11 people without ever changing out the body. That's why we do it. That's why we use it. That's why I would recommend it to people. Okay. All right. So three safety system works for us. Worked well for us last year. All right. We like it. Don't know if it's going to work for you. Hopefully this helps. If you use it, you may have something better than you do. Put it in the comments below, positive, negative, we don't care, interaction is good. If you're posting comments, you've watched the video, you've, thought, or you've at least seen what's going on, post it out there. I like learning like everybody else does. Remember to subscribe, remember to click those notifications, remember to check out our sponsors, and remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I'll see you guys next time.